What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Something just occurred to me. As I'm enjoying the weekend and just, you know, relaxing, I'm purging from the past week. I want you, I wanted to share something with you guys when it comes to the wealth gap. The wealth gap between the haves and the have-nots. I was uh, chatting back and forth just a couple messages with one of the subscribers and he made a pretty good um he made a pretty good comment and he says something he says i can't blame first first let me show you where it came from yesterday yesterday we had a massive pretty much it was like a sell-off and if you look at the chart everything just, just dropped off a lot of the gains and different things that people had pretty much went away just like that they didn't all go away but a nice uh amount of them went away and one of the um things i noticed when that happens a lot of people get fearful that the crypto bull run is over that that all of the hopes and dreams that just evaporated just like that in a matter of moments well we're looking at this happened uh yesterday and as of today crypto market is still down i want to say it's down like a <clears throat> it's down a, quite a bit and if you guys just take a peek at your portfolios i hope that that's something that you do on a regular basis take a look at your portfolios you see a lot of your gains are pretty much gone <clears throat> a lot of people get fearful but anyway back to the comment one of the great subscribers he uh made a comment and said that he can't blame people for playing it safe and investing in their 401ks and staying out of something so volatile as the uh crypto market and i i thought about that he's absolutely uh correct on the fact of why people do tend to stay away from crypto and the only thing that I can really disagree with is that I can blame people for staying away from the crypto market because this is why there's such a big gap in wealth from people that have and people who do not. And this is this is what I wanted to share with you guys right now when it comes to the crypto market and what's going on. I know it's hard for a lot of you that has never been into crypto and you see how volatile it is and I don't care how much you invest it, it it's hard to come back and see your investment down the only thing I can say is I want you to think back to the pandemic when everything was down we, we it wasn't just crypto it was stocks stocks was down I remember getting buying different stocks and I felt like I was just getting them on sale I was buying up stocks buying up stocks during the pandemic and while everybody else was running because I knew everything was going to come back. Well, when you look at that and you look at the fact that things did rebound to a, a, a big degree, but I want you guys to look at it from the standpoint, I want you to, we talk about BlackRock, we talk about a lot of these other big institutions out there like Fidelity and just all of these all of these really major players out there that really have a say in in our financial future and i want you to look at their behavior and that's that's what i tend to gauge a lot of my behaviors off of you look at blackrock look at all of the crypto that they're buying just look over the past week and look at how many billions of uh black of bitcoin that these companies are snatching up and i want you to ask yourself just one question one important question if crypto was dead and everything was over or for you non-believers if crypto was something that's never ever going to survive and never ever going to see its its way in the um, sunshine why are they buying why are they buying why are they continuing to buy crypto they're buying a lot of these major investors these big institutions they're buying all the bitcoin that they can 
and they're about to start with the Ethereum as well. They're buying it up while everyone else is selling their bags. So when you look at your 401ks and you look at that, and I look at someone who would rather put their money in 401ks, and that's fine, I understand. You want minimum risk. But you know what comes with minimum risk? Minimum reward as well. I always say life is short. You have a short time on this planet. And it's much too short to live afraid when all you have to do is do the necessary research into different investments that you may have your money in and to at least have an understanding of it. A lot of people, and I've had 401ks and different investment um, avenues that I can invest in with different jobs that I've held in the past. But never once, never once did I ever think that they knew what was best for me. They knew what was best for me. So a lot of the research that I do in cryptocurrency and the reason that I choose to invest in cryptocurrency is because I see where everything is going and I'm following those breadcrumbs of wealth. And the only way to follow them is you have to pretty much attach yourself to the major players, to these black rocks, to all of these fidelity, all of these different companies that is really now getting involved in crypto. They know something, they see something, and and I'm like, I'll be damned if I miss out <laughs> on the games and this crypto future that we're headed toward. This point right here is going to be a defining moment for a lot of you out there that invest in crypto or choose not to invest in crypto but at the same time you you listen to these type of videos or you listen to other youtubers or you listen to uh the news you have an opportunity right now to change your fortunes you have an opportunity and one thing i do agree with on that con on, on what the uh the subscribers said is people playing it safe a lot of people don't have a stomach for this and i understand that i understand that crypto isn't for the faint of heart it's really not for the faint of heart but at the same time what else are you doing what else are you doing what if you're wrong those of you that are sitting out there like i'm just gonna play it safe and i'm not gonna mess with cryptocurrency because everybody else is stupid including including and this is basically what you're thinking including these big major corporations we're talking blackrock blackrock so defining moment as you can see here there's a lot of deals out there to be had i try to bring as many of them as i can to this channel as well as other people try to bring as many uh crypto investments as possible to the community but the, we're only as good as the information or shall i say we only our information is only as good as the person that choose to take it do their own research and get in on what's going to be a defining moment in history you guys are a part of history so I want you guys to really, really just think about that. Think about that. You are seriously at a point in history where you can pretty much create generational wealth for your family. Generational wealth. And that's only if you choose to really jump in with both feet. Those of you who want to stick a toe in, that's fine too whatever it takes whatever it takes but if you're sitting on the sideline and you're like i'm just not going to play at all well two three years from now when crypto is just your grandmother talking about crypto aunties granddad talking about crypto 
you need to be okay with being able to say, you know what, I had my opportunity. I had an opportunity to get in and I chose not to. For whatever reason, I chose not to. I'm still fine. If you can live with yourself and two, three years in the future or next year, if you can seriously live with yourself, then so be it. But for all of you that are out there and you're on the fence, it's time to choose. Anyway, yeah, I just had a thought sitting out here, chilling. Said, you know what? Let me share this message. All right, guys. You know what time it is. I'm out.